I'm in this field that um, I reseeded three years ago and after the very heavy rain last night the damage done is fairly extensive. Now this is the worst bit of ground I have. Um, there's only a light sod about maybe eight inches in total and then you're into daub and uh, the soakage will be very poor but the time that we uh, ploughed it and reseeded it, it didn't work out right because um, the weather was against us. Everything that time went against us. Um, the, the, uh, the, uh, I had the ability at the time to mould plough it beforehand because my standard approach to the job like this is first of all mould plough it and if it needs a top on top it, um, apply some farmyard manure, um, plough it then power harrow it, reseed it and put some fertiliser on it but what I've come to realise is that despite how green you want to be or organic or whatever you want to be when you reseed ground it is hungry it does need nitrogen and the best source of nitrogen is unfortunately in the short term through the bag and uh, I never really put enough effort into this um, and my plan now is that Hopefully next year I'm going to address all the deficiencies in this by redoing this job again. Um, it'll be the standard model for me, mold plough. Um, and then I intend to put a lot of farmyard manure on it. I've already started putting out uh, box loads of farmyard manure when it was drier. And I intend to cover this with um, heavy box loads of farmyard manure so that they can be spread out in the spring and they'll be um, a source for worm and microbial activity there to break them down over the winter so they'll be adding humus to the soil and then when I plough it I intend to put more farmyard manure and lime this land very much needs lime and after that then it, there will be a maintenance program necessary for a few years with the uh, NPK probably something like 10 10 20 I only gave this 10 10 20 for one year and that was it but it definitely has a negative impact on the persistency of the grass and its ability to to grow uh, thicken and I did notice after the second year when I got the first crop off this we say it was eaten, second year it was significantly poorer so I think we have to manage things wisely with both artificial means and with farmyard manure to bring up the fertility and the other thing is then because of its nature it'll have to be well fenced and only allow cattle to, to come on and graze when the ground conditions are suitable because it's um, there was torrential rain here last yesterday evening it was unbelievable it's destroyed it's destroyed everything and it's the middle almost of may we'd be expecting better weather but anyway that's the plan and anyway, hopefully we can get to do something about that next year